think it means is that the United States is trying to provoke and sable ratter with another nuclear power, right? This is what we were supposed to be afraid of was going to happen with Donald Trump, right? We couldn't have, he's a crazy man who's going to have his <laughs> finger on the nuclear button. And now we have Demented Joe who is saber rattling with two nuclear powers and they get the corporate media sponsored by the military industrial complex to get Americans to cheer it on. And why do Americans cheer it on? Because they have no idea what's actually happening with their foreign policy. And what's worse right. is they have no yeah. idea that they have no idea with that they don't have any idea what's happening with their foreign policy. We have 400 military bases surrounding China since the Korean War. Do we really think that China is getting ready to invade the United States? Because I tell you, they're not. They make everything we use in the United States. Why? Because the same people who want this war are the same people who took the good jobs that are manufacturing jobs in America, turned them into low-paying, crappy jobs, and then shipped them to China, and then we get angry at them for the system that we set up if they're so corrupt because that's the thing americans have no idea how corrupt their government is they think our government's just regular corrupt like oh trump gave his son a job or biden gave his kid a no a no-show job in the ukraine board that's not the whole thing is corrupt the 800 billion dollar military budget is 800 billion dollars of corruption why do we have to have eight nine hundred military bases around we're the ones provoking this war just like we provoked the war in ukraine we are now provoking a war with China and what who who benefits I'll tell you right now your enemy is not China your enemy is not Russia your enemy is the military industrial complex which has been fleecing this country to the tunes of hundreds of billions and trillions of dollars how many times are we gonna have a defense secretary say hey we can't account for two trillion dollars in the Pentagon again that like which has happened twice now in my lifetime so again people are being uh, uh, the, the war machine cannot be stopped Who's running this country? The war machine. It certainly isn't Joe Biden making these decisions. I would like to know who is making the decisions. And I just want to remind everybody, the United States is the world's terrorist. We just set the Middle East on fire in the last 20 years. And now we're doing a proxy war in Ukraine, which we provoked, NATO provoked, and it was just admitted that we provoked it by the former prime minister of Germany. And now we're trying to saber rattle with, with China and they're predicting a war. Again, China's not going to invade us. China's not our enemy. They, we might have an economic war. That's what these are. These are economic wars. These are wars right. for, in Ukraine, it's about liquefied natural gas and making sure Germany and Russia never come together because we fear Russia's uh, natural resources and manpower, and we fear them getting together with Germany with their technology and their capital. And so that's why we blew up the Nord Stream pipeline. That's why we're doing the Ukraine war. This is all about hegemony, imperialism, and economics. And if there's a Marine somewhere, it's there because they're about to steal some natural resources from another country. As everybody's screaming about what a bad guy Putin is for invading Ukraine, the United States is currently occupying a third of Syria. And which third is that? It's the third that has the oil. And how do I know we're there to steal their oil? Because the president of the United States said so. And we're not, we're not even benefiting economically. That's, I mean, of course, that's the rub. Jimmy Dore, appreciate it. Thank you.